Okay, so LAC Rogue G2 Fanatic Mad. Martin Hansen Wunder, 5-6. Highest CSD in playoffs wins lane with good matchup. <laughs> wins lane with good matchup, okay? Uh, super strong on Trundle. Playoff run use Trundle Poppy. In most stats, also up and down, but Silas good. Number one laning. Winning lane and super Zeri game. Zeri is dead, dispatch though. And channels are not for him. Meta shifting back to him. Hey, San Giga chat. Hey, Ankos. Also, Virgin World is the most fun to play jungle. Uh, you have to literally choose yourself. You literally have to choose. I, I really like Kindred. I really like Kindred, for example. Do you like Kindred? Also, I cannot say this word, bro. It's banned on Twitch. I mean, I cannot claim people with this word. G2 Esports. Okay. Broken Blade. Counter pick percent playoff. Scary to blind picks tank versus him. Jankos. Pings. Fewest pings bought in summer. Use them better plus saving gold. Yeah, well, that just means I'm using my gold in different way. So, of course, I buy less pinks, right? Makes sense. Makes sense, chat. Also, my Wukong, my Trundle win rate went so low because of playoffs. Kill participation per person playoffs, everything works around him. Lowest CSD in playoffs, super weak side with little help. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> poor, poor Flacco. <laughs> poor Flacket, actually. <laughs> poor Flacket. No, but by the way, JDG and Damon are also top focus teams. So we have the same play styles. And now the question is who is gonna win topside? Jankos, Caps, Broken Blade, or Nuguri? Canyon and Showmaker, huh? Is it Kanabi? Yagao? Huh? Three six nine? Six games and fly back home, exactly what I'm trying to say. Armut. Top 3 in DPM, damage percent uh, gold in split, bounce back after spring. Mid jungle, high prior on Nisky, boss spent lots on pink words. Well, I guess Elioia spends money on pink words. Ha! Chat! I don't spend money on pink words. We are top 2. Elioia spends money on pink words. They are bottom, they didn't win a single BO5 in playoffs. We win 2 BO5s in playoffs. Nisky. Utility, Niski is back in summer, all champs with low gold needs. Champions played in summer, average stats, but has extra picks. One, two, blah, blah. Okay, let's see Rogue, the best team in Europe. Although I'm the lowest counter pick person in PO, weak side king of Europe. Creative pathing and builds low gold and CS, but lanes ahead. 8-1 on Jarvan. Can anyone tell me why did he get Jarvan in two games against us? Mage, control mage carry, top three in most stats in summer. GT10, behind Fnatic, absolutely strong AD carry at all stages. Raka. Raka? Oh, so Raka. Strong champion pool, hard to blind sub versus rogue. I don't actually think so, but maybe, I mean like in this meta, because the meta is a bit different now. We are not gonna pick Soraka in a lot of lanes that are being played now. Meta shifted a little bit. 